You're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get to the next, dis next discussion. Uh, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiko Boboka, is certainly not a happy man at the moment. This is because the troubles in his party is threatening his success at next year's presidential poll, and just uh, he keeps getting bigger. Five aggrieved uh, PDP governors, now known as the G5, led by River State Governor Nisan Wiki, uh, currently in London, brainstorming on which presidential candidates to throw their weight behind after ruling out the candidates of their own party, Atiku Bubaka. The governors who are at uh, the log at loggerheads with Mr. Atiku have been calling for the resignation of their party chairman, Senator Io Chayu. Uh, they insist that a, southern must, a southerner must become national chairman since the presidential candidate is from the north. But many Nigerians believe that Governor Wike is still smart uh, spotting from his loss of the presidential ticket and vice presidential slot. Now, the big question now is, which candidates amongst the front runners will the G5 governors endorse? These are things that, one way or the other, within the first week of January, from what they have said, uh, we will get to know. Joining me now is a member of the People's Democratic Party and a lawyer, Honorable Tunji Abdulhamid. Tunji, it's good to see you in the studio. Yeah, nice to see you. Great to see Mary you. Yes, Welcome. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we also have a political analyst, Dr. Dokun Adedeji. Doc, good morning. Morning. And compliments of the season. I wish you the same. Thank you. Great. Right. All right. Let me start with uh, uh, Honorable Abdulhamid for obvious reasons. Now, when crises like this come up, a lot of persons, we often hear, ah, it's a family affair, it's a family issue, it's the beauty of democracy, you know, and so on. But the, that beauty of democracy, the way it is playing out, could make or mar a presidential candidate, depending on what divide the person is, where the support is going to or the, where the support is leaving from. What do you make of the developments in your party? Uh, before I go into that, let me correct an impression. Okay. I, I read, I heard your prolonged or whatever. I think there is no tension in PDP. There is no tension the, the in PDP. The presidential candidate is not under any pressure. All right. The, mm -hmm. There is no any crisis in PDP. All we have is political game, and it's going on. Right. And so as far as, as far as I'm concerned, we are not under any pressure. The PDP is not under any pressure. Right. The candidate is not, is not under any pressure. And it's normal, what we are seeing today in the, in the party. You can't have a two, three, five hundred people, thousands of people or millions of people Together, and we won't see disagreement. There must be disagreement. How you could settle it is, is the issue. But the, the, it's getting the, the difficulty in settling this one is that uh, we have a group of people who probably have made up our mind where they want to go and they don't want to listen to another person. So, as far as I'm concerned, the, the issue of uh, crisis does not exist. And then what is happening today may not even matter or, or, or any, any of the, 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 the chances of our, of our candidate. Elijah Tubaka has the chance to win this election, and it's his chance to win the election, with all that Recall, five candidates. Uh, let me follow up before I bring uh, Dr. Didichi in. Recall that in 2015, there was the issue of the new PDP that had uh, uh, Bukola Saraki and so many others, you know, some governors, some senators, you know, and all of that moving into uh, the, the then ACN that created the APC and all of that. And we saw all the impact. You think that five governors, five governors in the PDP, leaving PDP, not in the context of leaving the party, but deciding they are going to support someone else apart from their own political, their own political candidate, will still create room for the candidate to win? You see, they, they, what happened in 2015 and today are not the same at all. What happened at that period was that the five governors, they moved from the party. They, they, they moved completely from the party mm -hmm. and aligned with another party. Mm -hmm. then what we are seeing today is we have people who are still a member of the party and work and trying to, to, to achieve their, 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 their ob objective or interest. In, 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 in other words, what they are clamoring for, their, 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 their grievances, they want to, that's what, that's what we are seeing. So we are not seeing a situation whereby we have people who are who moved. When in the situation that at that time was that, you see, for example, in Kuala State, when Bukola Saraki moved, all members of the PDP in that state moved mm -hmm. with him. And today, they, we have in River State, people are not moving. Nobody's moving with, with, with Wike. People are, though he, he is there as a governor, he's talking about his candidate. Other people have their own interest in their candidate, and they are all still there. They are also a member of the PDP. 
So it's d d d told but, it, but it's obvious. But it's obvious Wiki leads the party in the state. You, the fact that you lead the party does not mean you control the people. Mm. The, okay. life, the, 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 the life of the people or the, the, what the people will do is not let, in your hands. They, let they me have bring, their choice. Okay, let me choices. bring uh, Dr. Adediji in here. Now, I, I know you've been following this development, mm. and I, I wonder what you make of a situation like this. He says, well, it's just normal for there to be any disagreement. But a disagreement that uh, reconciliation efforts have been made so many times Almost all the factors, all the, all the big wigs within the party have made, you know, efforts to reconcile and, and bring normalcy, yet uh, you, 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 they couldn't do that. You, you see, Mike, uh, for me, mm. it's an unfortunate development that we're even discussing a mundane issue like this. In a political situation where people are decent, they're principled, they have values, we should not have this kind of a thing. It, it's so unfortunate. Are these the kind of leaders Nigeria are looking forward to? And then we are willing to vote. And in 2023, and some men are throwing themselves around saying they control the political uh, future of people. It's unfortunate. For me, I, I say this categorically. What is different between PDP and APC? Men. A few men in P APC makes the difference. There's nothing. They're cross carpeted. There's no values in this state. Where is the interest of the average Nigerian in this. You will cross, you can endorse whoever you want, you carry me to endorse. You know, they're taking for granted the thoughts of people, the ability of people to make choices because they think they control them by imposing poverty on them and then on the day of election doling out pittance and then getting people to vote and subjugate their future to the hands of these ones. I mean, I consider a drama. And it's an unfortunate development in a political situation, and that we should sit down and be looking at five go. If they like, they can endorse whoever they want, they can endorse uh, Ujuku or whoever. But the thing is, five men will go and vote. They don't carry me to vote for them. So it depends on the people themselves. You see, I read a book, it's called Confederacy of Dunces. And Lagwaja sang a circle, 200 million. They're taking us for Mumu's. And that's what they're doing, all they're doing, and people are making noise about it. If we leave them to their drama, dressing like robots and dressing like uh, juju men all over the place and thinking they, they carry anybody's aspiration, it's a joke. But they know Nigerians. They know that the future of whoever their candidate is depends on them, and then they can do a lot of money. They're depending on their position uh, of uh, incumbency, and also, but I hope, I neck is vigilant to make all the processes work, then all their dances will come to nothing, all of them. You know, I don't care who they endorse, but it tells me, it speaks to the way they treat us as a people. They do, we don't count. All these people fighting that we're talking about, Southern, somebody, what, what is their basis of fighting? I'm talking because we're discussing the G5. Mm. Is it because I agree? If Ayu had said they said at the beginning that Ayu should leave and he's not leaving, they can discuss that and deal with it in their party. But they cannot discuss it into a national drama that it then becomes an issue for us to begin to engage in. Let them go and sit down and do whatever they choose to. It speaks to their party. It speaks to their inability to speak of principles. If you look at, Mike, just look at the parties. If this one is not here today, it will be there tomorrow for what? For just political lolly. Not because it bothers me. Asu went on strike for 10 months or thereabout. Doctors are leaving. The nation is in a, in a state of despair, despondency. And we are talking about five men jostling to be a leadership. For me, it's a waste of my time. You, you think so when... <laughs> the point there is, of course, this five governors mm. are just the face of the entire True. movement. True. They, they call themselves now that the integrity group, mm. which has gone integrity. beyond, which has gone beyond just the five men who are governors. Mm. Now, if you look at the list of people, there are people who are, you know, who have who wield some level of influence mm. within where they occupy, mm. and all of that. Mm. And you 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 don't think this can change the dynamics of uh, you know, the, the pattern of voting? Mark, in a decent country mm. that values the principle of democracy that we say we play, it makes no difference. Because they can make all the... No Look, if I have my will to go and vote, and I vote my conscience, 
who is, some, who is somebody to tell me who to vote for? Mm. And you know, they say, oh, my people said I should go and run. Who are the people who said so? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Look, it shows you the pedestrian nature of our politics, the primitive nature that depends on money and depends on personal influence. It doesn't show democracy. All right. Now, Tuji, let, let's, let, let me come to you on this. Some persons have said, ah, what is the big deal with you chair, you the chairman of your party, that the candidate of the presidential candidate is doing everything to keep and mm. wanting to sacrifice five states just for one man. What, what, what are you seeing from that? Because people are beginning to ask questions. Is it friendship? What kind of bond is there that you are going to sacrifice five states where you get votes from just for one man who is just one person? Of course, he might wield his own level of influence too, but check his own state, his own governor, Samuel Otom in Benue State, is not on the same page with him. And who controls who runs the state? The state governors wield a lot of influence than any national, any uh, other individual. What do you make of that? Uh, it appears they don't understand the situation. That's why they're saying so. Okay. Because if they understand, they won't say uh, sacrificing one man for five people or whatever. Or so sacrificing five so we are for in just one. We are in a democracy. All right. And the one who say democracy is about majority. They, they, we have constitution of the, of the party. Hmm. The constitution says... The, 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 the chairman can either be removed or resign, or, 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 or if, he removed, if he's removed, or resign. Mm. The chairman has not been removed. In fact, the party had a meeting, National Executive Committee, and it, they, they passed a vote of confidence on him. So over 500 people voted in his favor to say stay. And then five people just came up and said, we're not going to agree. And you want them to say, because of five people, we throw away the, the interests of 500 people? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying if the article becomes the president tomorrow, and the one, two, three people say, look, this is what Nigeria needs, but those three people are saying, no, we're not green, we're not going to give, you should give it, give it to them, just because they have influence? That's what you're saying. If you're saying, why will you not sacrifice uh, the party chairman for five people? When over 500 people have said, we are in support of the, of the chairman, let him continue. And let me correct that impression as well. Mm. They, they, gave us, they, they were giving us wrong... Uh, a thing. I, 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 you did not say, just say he will resign. There's a proviso. Okay. He said, I will, as a Democrat, I will resign if another candidate in March, if my party says I should, I, should, I should resign. As the party says so, no. Yeah, but what, the who, five who, people who, are not party. But who is the party? Yeah? The party is the National Executive <laughs> Committee. No, the party, the party is the National Executive <laughs> Committee. Over 500 people. They met and they said, yeah, yeah. we are party, we, are, we pass vote of confidence. Uh, uh, and you continue. So as far as I'm concerned, it, it do not go well for just one man. But, but and, and, and mind you, mm. AP, PDP. You are comparing PDP with APC, probably. No, why? Why is that? PDP is not a party. Of, it's not a one man party, unlike APC. We is, are by, is APC a one man party? Yes, because yeah. if, if today they have they, they are going this way, and the president says this is where we are going, they all go back. They all go there. But it was the same thing on the on the, the, the mm. on the, when PDP no, was no, the no, no, party. No, 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 The, the president is always seen as the as the national leader the of the party. In, in that, no, not not that the president will say go. Also, Malia was removed just by the, by by, by presentation from the president. He was removed. At the meeting, it was just said to step aside, and that's all. There was no meeting. There was nothing. You, you see, sir, so we... what I'm saying is that look. You can't say you can't say Atiku will just tell uh, Ayu step aside. Atiku is not the party; he's just the presidential candidate of the party. So you can't say you can't give the entire uh, power of the party to a one man. Hmm. That means we are creating a, a, hmm. a, a situation whereby uh, that one man becomes uh, the owner of the party. Just like I see in some other states, in, what, what some of those G five are fighting over now? They are not replicating their states. I am aware that in River State, the governor singularly pick all the candidates. Uh, and well, I'm also aware the, the, that the, the people will disagree with I'm you also, on that. I, I am also, I'm not aware. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, I'm aware that one of the persons because all the all, the, all the, the, the one of the persons all, all the primaries. The, I neck I neck was present in all the primaries that were conducted. How many people? How, how many people participated in that in that primary? That I that that I neck monitored. What I'm saying that look, I'm aware it's it's, 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 it's in the public that one of the a member of the house of out of breath who wanted to contest was the team. Just because they want to, want, want to contest. So what I'm saying is like, look, I, I respect them. They have they have, they have, they have, they have, they have leader of the party. They mm -hmm. are, but I, I think for me, the fight they are fighting is a personal interest fight. 
It is not about anybody. Yeah, but they, 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 also, they also say that uh, politics is about interest. Yeah, it's about interest. Let them come out and say we are fighting for ourselves, not to say we are fighting <laughs> for justice or fairness. There is no fairness here. If you are saying you are fighting for fairness and justice, and you are constructing supporting Peter Obi, for, for instance, because in, in, the, what they are saying... But they that, haven't said it. No, they're I said you are considering. Okay. What they are saying is that the chairman from the, of, of the PDP cannot come from the north, and the president cannot come from the north. Mm. In, the, in, in Labour Party, where was the chairman come from? South. The president is from where? South. The DG is from where? South. They are not complaining. They are not saying that. Just, that is to show you. But that's the that Labour it's not Party. About, it's not about fairness. Mm. It's about personal you, you, interest. But, 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 but the Labour Party is totally no, different. No, I'm saying those who are complaining mm. about lack of fairness in their party, okay. saying that the, the entire uh, organs of the government is in a particular region, mm. they will not, will not go to a party where also the same thing is happening there, if truly they are fighting for fairness. All right, Dr. Adireji, I, I wonder what you are seeing when it comes to the chances of the PDP with this development now. Because you cannot... Whether, whether the, the G5 governors and the integrity group are fighting their own interests mm. or not, the moment they have come to say, we together are going this way, different from, the, different from where their party nationally is going, of course, it's going to change a few dynamics. Yeah, yeah. But what do you see as the chances of the PDP if the, if the G5 governors decide that they're supporting another presidential candidate? Um, there is no doubt that it will affect the outcome of the election mm. negative to PDP. Okay. They know how they play their games, as uh, my friend said. And as you said, where is the interest of the ordinary man in this matter? Mm. This man is... And to be honest, whatever the G5 is fighting for seems to have a bit of legitimacy in the eyes of what they're saying, mm. but it doesn't really have a fundamental interest of the people at heart. Because uh, as contrary to what my colleague said, where there must be principle, even amongst thieves, there must be honor. If you say that if somebody uh, comes this way, it's just, it's just normal that you walk away. What is the attraction of your position to the interest of your party? That it, there must be something amongst all of these people that have, and I can tell you something, Mike, I'll not be surprised if by this January they solve this problem, mm. I will not be surprised. Mm. Because it doesn't concern you, it doesn't concern me, it concerns them. And they know what they're angling for, even if they make noise about the South, something. You know, the, the thing that pains me is the discountenance uh, that they have for people like us who do the voting. Even if they have the influence, they have everything. How do they want to uh, exert that influence towards the election. You know, the PDP with Atikwa now, you must be confident about something that we don't know. And we can be breaking our necks and killing ourselves over it. You'll find that January 28th, they will solve it, and everybody will be smiling, and then they will discard all this uniform they are wearing. It's all drama. It's all drama. And the painful part for me as a Nigerian that is non-partisan is that we're jostling with the lives of people. With the, look how many years we've been independent. And we're like Fala said, we're like perambulator. We're just walking <coughs> blindfolded in a labyrinth. That's what it seems. Because if you look at all of them, IU, Atiku, APC, who has not been in APC before? Who has not been in PDP before? <laughs> so the, 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 that's the thing that pains me. They can fight. I've never supported the G5. I don't support any of them because, as you said, what is PDP? What is APC? When they are campaigning, they almost mention their names interchangeably, forgetting that they belong to a different party. It then shows you from their heart that it's, it's like two football teams. You play, you change color, you change your jersey. That's what these politicians are doing. The moment they cross, they change their jersey. And then they cross, they change. They watch the dynamics of where is the gravy train growing, and then they begin to jostle. But the man in Mushi, his life has not changed. The man of Koko Maiko, his life has not changed, and yet we are making noise about these people. Whatever happens, G5 or whatever, their lives of the G5 will never change. Mm. Next year after the election, when they have seen how it's settled, they will become friends again. They go to their children's wedding. They drink from the same cup. But when it comes to politics, they make noise to us ordinary people. 
That's my painful part. Let, let me stay with you a little, uh, mm. Dr. Adediji. The point there is the opposition is also watching. Mm. For instance, the Labour Party, the, the, the Labour Party oh, okay. is watching, mm. the NN, NNPP is also watching, mm. the APC is watching. Mm. Them as, as seeing what's going on, mm. five brides, five states mm -hmm. with their governors, mm. you know, I've deciding, deciding, of course, they, but they run the states, whatever, mm. whatever, however way it is, yeah, absolutely. they run the states, mm. and five of them coming together to say, okay, very soon we'll let people know whom we are going to, how do you think the other political party would cash in mm. on, on what is going on in PDP and with the G5? You know what you have just raised mm. is they will raise the stakes of whatever they used to, <laughs> to, to take that. That's what it means. You know, it's like if we were like, Chelsea wants you, Manchester United wants you, then the agent will say, ah, where is the... The stakes are higher now. The stakes are higher. That's what they're doing. I tell you, Mike, from the antecedents of all these people, they will settle this thing by January 20. And then everybody that will be clear. And then you'll find out that the G5 actually stands for nothing except for self. You also find that the opposition parties truly also have no principles because if these people can kill their party and come to your party, they will kill you someday, depending on what is involved. All these things about money and political influence after office, there's nothing else. It doesn't concern the man who lives in Kutuwenji or the man who wants to sell uh, um, rice in Yaba. It's just about them. And until, it's just painful that we're still so antediluvian in the way we put politics, and we're still depending on the low crowd that comes with it. If not for that, they can make all the noise they like. Opposition council dance around them all they like. The people will determine. But where is the people in the determination of our so uh, sovereignty? Maybe INEC will help us by being very careful and following the rules and say, you can't come and be giving people bread on the line. You can't be serving them rice, and then you, they can't carry phone to, so they, they know, and then you can't be showing who you voted for in order to collect what has been promised you. Until, you know, the whole system is, is involved in this matter. The whole system. Has anybody who contravened the electoral law be prosecuted in this country? Hmm. No. We catch them. They stop the ballots. We catch them. We make noise. They run after them. Who has been punished? Because there's no punishment. Uh, but, but for the last few elections, mm. uh, we've not been hearing of stuffing of ballot boxes anymore. But they carry I, it, it, it seems I, I neck, I neck is fine-tuning mm. and getting it right in such a way that mm. we don't see the, the way elections were it run in the be. early 2000s True. anymore. True, that's what I'm saying. I believe if uh, I neck can tighten mm. his news and do, this, and do better with BVAC and all those things, we may have a better election and all these things will not amount to anything. All right. Honorable Abdul Hamid, uh, let, let me ask you honestly, um, the way this issue is going between the G5 on one hand and the main PDP, do you wish that uh, these shouldn't have happened in the first place? Do you wish that there should be reconciliation for all the G5 governors or the integrity group should come back and then things move on? Of course, as a, as a member of a party who wants his party to win, mm. I, will, I will not want any crisis in my party. And I want people who are influential in my party to be part of it, even though I don't believe with their, with, with, with their absence, with Adelja to give a back chance will be, will be dwindled. No. The, 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 you remember, you see, we are making one mistake. Governor, uh, former Governor Apabio left PDP to APC. How many people followed him? I'm not saying they don't have influence. They have their influence. But the influence will only reduce the number of votes at the It will not affect the, the, the entire the general results. Because look at it from this angle. The, the, the River State, or your, or your state, for instance, let, mm -hmm. let's take it like that. The governor is contesting for election mm -hmm. under the PDP. How, how is he going to do it? I don't know. That he will say, look, I'm not a member of the PDP, uh, so I'm not supporting my candidate uh, who's contesting. I'm supporting another candidate and he's contesting. Even when, when he's fully with the PDP, <laughs> he's not sure of winning your state. Because your state is dicey. It's always 50 50. Nobody's sure when there's no crisis. Mm -hmm. Now that he's in crisis, he's, he's, he's risking his chance of coming back to the. To, to, yeah, to, to but, but with the, 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 the other doesn't have internal crisis per se. What? 
the the, the crisis. The stakeholders have they they they, 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 for, they forced out. They are, you are on your own. The other stakeholders they said it openly that governor, you are on your own. We are with Atiku. So he may have his own support too from other people. What I'm saying is that that will only affect his own chance, not Atiku's chance. If if his care is not taken, Autumn is contesting for Senate. Governor Autumn, I mean. Mm. He has a seven, seven, seven uh, what's it called, local government to, to, to take care of. Some of those local government are, are forced within there. Where are you come from? What do you think? And there are, and there are other stakeholders too who also support. The Governor Wiki has all his candidates from PDP. Mm. He has SDP who's challenging him. He has APC who's challenging him. How is he going to do it? I don't know. Well, but generally speaking, let's look at 2019. Alaji, uh, the current president, mm. President Mamadou Bouhari, did not win any of the South. Not, I'm not even talking about the first state now. The entire South, 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 or South and South and South East or, or whatever. He didn't win. He became president. So what I'm saying is that whether or not you win River State does not determine who becomes a, whether that you're winning River State or not winning River State will determine your being become the president. You're winning a, a PDP won on your state at the last uh, election. Did the, the article become president? PDP won River State. The Benin State Governor, it was by, by chance that I became a governor. So now that it's in crisis, how will do it? I don't know. So they are also all in dilemma. That's why it's taking them this long. They are, it's not that easy for them as well. And as far as I'm concerned, it will only re reduce the number of votes Alaji Atiku Abakar will have. I, because I, I assure you, the Baba President Buhari is no longer on the ballot. Mm -hmm. So all those 12 million votes out of 40 that have been, been Ghana for President Babari will go some way. And I, I believe majority of them will go to uh, Alaja Bakaratiku. You see, the, the point is that. Yeah, but, but that, that, that number you're talking about, that number, it, because we have to be a little logical. I like, I like the, the breakdown in the statistics and all of that. But that number we're talking about now, that is part of the number that Atiku has and that the G5 is about to take away from Atiku. They're not taking that away. Okay. At, mm. We can only take away food from the state. And I've told you, PDP won the state in 2019. And we, we, are not, we are not president today. Mm. The PDP won in the Royal State in 2019. We are not president today. Mm -hmm. So that is to tell you that winning the first state, winning a, a Royal State does not mean, or, or losing the first state or, or losing the Royal State does not mean you cannot become president. So uh, in other words, the entire South, South, the, president, the current president did not win. Yeah. But, and yeah. Kept so yeah. I, in fact, yeah. I even see the, the fight. In fact, let me see you. The, the fight. Being, the way it's being fought now by the G5 is making some people from the north to see it as fight between the north and the south. And that will give them more sympathy for Alaji Atiku of Bakar. And that, that's, that's where I see it. And I tell you, it will only, like I said again, I'll repeat it. It will only reduce the number of votes Alaji Atiku Bakar will have. It will not make, it will not, it's not making him lose that election. He okay. has a chance of winning the election. Well, Dr. Adedeji, the point there is, APC that is a ruling party right now, mm has about uh, 21 states. Mm. And then the remaining states are shared between uh, PDP and ABGA mm. in, in uh, Anambra state as it is. Now, if after out of 36 states, uh, you, have, you take away 21, which is not for PDP in the first place, mm. and then you will, uh, PDP might have about, uh, I think, 18 or, 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 or so, there about. Uh, there about, or 17. I can't remember. I'm not very good with maths. But if you take five out of that, mm. we're talking about the issue of chances now. Because if APC is already in the lead when it comes to the number of states, of course, the fact that they have number of states doesn't necessarily translate to them winning the election. Yes. But we're looking at chances now. What chances do you see of PDP having if five governors are going to leave into either uh, APC or the Labour Party or the NMPP or, the, or wherever they want to go eventually? You know, in terms of the numbers, mm -hmm. you have just said the number of states, mm -hmm. if it works like that, yeah. APC has an advantage. But in this game of money, who spends more? It may not. You know, because as the uh, PDP man said, if you look at it, the people that, the APC states, probably are APC states because of Buhari. Mm. Will they remain APC states without Buhari? So the dynamics, you know, as he said, and I want to agree a bit, and what I've said to you, they have given room for more angling. 
to give room for more uh, law lists being passed down. That's why they're saying by January we'll tell you. By January. So because everybody also is sitting there and saying, how does even this thing affect my own chances? And when they see that uh, it's likely to affect, they begin to waver, and then the opposition can come in and then throw more lollies, and then or the party itself. Article, you know, Article in all of it has not spoken. He has been very quiet, maybe underground, doing his mathematics as well. And so we are watching gladiators fight on behalf of us. That's what is happening. And what we eventually deliver all this is how much money is available. I can, these people have nothing but principles or integrity, they call themselves. It's about self-interest. Mm. Well, every national interest uh, is a collection of interest from mm. people anyway. They, they always uh, say that. We have just about uh, a minute or two to, to wrap up. Now, what scenarios do you see playing out? Let, let, me, let me ask you this uh, finally as we go. In as much as I wish that uh, they are back in the party and they are, they are, they are fleeing, in the, they, are, they, are, they have not left the party. They are back in support of a presidential candidate. It may be difficult because of the way Amala Defkai did the statement they've made, the attitude. No, this is politics. You don't, uh, when you say something tomorrow, you can't uh, forget about it when your interests align again. So but I, I think it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. For them to, uh, to to come back to the party and enjoy the same kind of uh, whatever they have, but I wish they will be back in good time so that we would work to together, we we'll win the election together, then we will we'll be able to. Will be we'll be able to no, not 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 that. <laughs> no, if you, know, you see, you see, you see. I want to say it again, doctor. When you blame politicians, those doctors are is one of those. Uh, who is causing us this problem? Why? <laughs> he's sitting, on, he's the, not, he's, he's sitting he's, on the fence. He's not a member. No, but he's not he's a member of your party. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about PDP now. Okay. Nigeria generally. He's sitting on the fence. How? 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 If is you don't participate in politics, if you don't engage and, and know who becomes your candidate, Do you know what about you, you have no choice than to vote for people you call. Uh, uh, I, I can't remember the adjective you use against mm. them again. So, in other words, it is whatever they give you that you fought for. Of course so not. you can't complain. Of That's what I'm saying. Not. So you, if, you want to, if you want to get your, if you want to be in control of your candidate, you want to, do, you want to have a candidate of your choice, the person you believe you can do it, you have to be fully informed in it. Yeah. You see, well, uh, well, well he, 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 the doctor here is, 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 is a very enlightened voter. Uh, and you I believe, about voting. Uh, yeah, but everybody can be. Are you not participating in it? Don't tell me you are in participating in it. All right, all right. We, we, we have to wrap up here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish that you had the best. Don't all right, thank advice. you very much. <laughs> just participate. All right. Honorable <laughs> Tunji Abdulami, thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank we you, really appreciate you. And we wish you well in what you do. Dr. Doku Adeleji, thank you very much for coming as well. Always my pleasure. We wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.